Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Summoner's War video. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Special Pops. Keep it ploppy. The Plop Nation. Anyway, I'm here on uh, Arena. I'm actually going to do some, a, some of the specialty. Just the preliminaries, just to get in there, to feel it out. Okay, I haven't really touched on it. Um, I am gonna do two arena battles real quick though. <clears throat> two arena battles. I know I could beat this team. I know I could beat this team. But it's all about the, the luck of the Irish, bro. Like I can beat this team. Mm, I don't know. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. So that's the thing, right? When you're playing in a certain level, even if you're sure you could beat these these uh, defenses that they set up, even if you're certain you could beat these defenses, sometimes it's truly not up to you. As much as you would like it to be up to you, sometimes it is not up to you. Most of the time. Because you unfortunately need some serious RNG sometimes because I can go and uh, I can fight this guy right here or I can fight any of these to be honest but if I go and sit here and fight him and let's just say his Molon goes okay he's gonna reckless assault my Leica right that's just what happens he's gonna reckless assault my Leica right off the bat it's not going to do anything. It's not going to take down my leg. But now, the Molon gets a Violent proc. Okay. Now he stuns. He stuns maybe one, one, one of my units because they're almost like 100 resistance each. Except for my Leica. He stuns one. Okay. He stuns one. Okay. Now he Violent procs again. What the fuck? Now he just armor break my Leica because my Leica is the only target. Then, his Gany cuts right after. Wait, I mean Gany? Pissameth. Then it's Pissamit that cuts right after. Now I have an armor break in Leica. There it goes. Leica just got killed. Then, on top of that, the Perna would move. Then that Perna can go hit my Louise. And then hit my Louise again. And again. And again. And then heal up. That's the problem. It is so reliant on RNG that it's ridiculous. Uh, I actually am gonna leave that alone for right now because I don't have much time to record but I will you know what actually I'm going to do that I am actually going to do that completely hold on I'm actually gonna do an arena I'm gonna show you what I mean by RNG this team is gonna be a pain in the ass this is gonna keep going and going and going now that's the thing, right? I can expect this team that he has to be extremely good. But that's the thing about defenses. They don't have to necessarily be well ruined for you to survive. You might not have well ruined defenses. Defenses are hard to ruin. But intimidation is how you don't get attacked. If you get attacked like once every hour, once every other two hours, by that time, your arena wings are filled up. So if you continuously attack with your arena wings, you should be good. And it's just because people don't want to deal with certain defenses. Not because they can't deal with it, but because they don't feel like going through all that. For example, I don't want to fight this defense. I'm sure I could beat it. I don't want to fight it, though. I don't want to fight a Chiwu because it's going to take too long. This Chiwu is going to stun me. Louise is going to provoke me. Pern is going to pull some bullshit. Molong is going to stun me. It's just going to keep going a circle, a circle, a circle. But then, eventually, it's just, it's just not worth it. But I'm going to show you what I mean by RNG. I'm going to fight this team. And I'm going to fight them. Now, if there's no RNG, I win. I win. But if there is RNG, I lose. Watch how easy this is. <laughs> Go hit him with the... Oh, derp. I got two cooldowns was increased. There's a stun. Huh. 
I didn't get hit with the bullshit. I couldn't have stunned. Oh, I stunned who I wanted to stun at least. I'm going to reset the summon. Oh, there goes the bullshit. There goes the bullshit. Look, look, there it goes. You saw that? The Perna just violent proc out of my stun into killing my Lycan. Now I'm at a handicap. I got to try and take down a shield. Two revivers and a Molong who wants my goodies. Because he wants my fucking goodies. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Did you see that? He just stripped off my shield. Look at that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The orange. I'm going to stop this relentless assault before it happens. So now he's just going to sit down and relax. Let's see if I can capitalize. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. This is where the bullshit kicks in. There it goes. Did you see? And he violent proc again. It's all about the RNG. Had my Lycan survived, I would have been able to hit somebody with justice. I would have taken down a good chunk of HP. Anyway. Well, that that's, that's the RNG. That's what I'm trying to say. No matter how good your offense could be, or how... The fuck, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? What the? What the fuck? Oh, I don't like that. See, this team is gonna win. This is a fast team. You won't expect it. They're gonna completely nuke, and the Steel Mars most likely will go off. I mean, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I can beat it. I don't want to try though, because it's not worth it. Because again, it's all about RNG. Will they land the stun? Will the Theomars violent proc tons of fucking times like always? All right, this is the last one because I didn't start the video to uh, record me doing that. This. I started the video for something else. <clears throat> like, I put my Tessari on. <laughs> he might not survive. If this Camila goes off, she can go violent park, violent park, violent park, violent park. It's over. That's it. I lose. In hindsight, I probably should not use it. Okay? Like I said, that's 100% resistance on both units. Okay. Cool. <laughs> resistance is resistance is your best friend. <laughs> if you ever have resistance on your units, you will be doing so much better. <laughs> and it's not a bullshit resistance. It's that good resistance. That resistance that's like <laughs> like yeah, I'm using this. You're wondering why I didn't go for the kill? It's because I wanted to stop this. It doesn't matter. I got her on. I got her uh, on what I wanted to get her on. So now it comes down to this. Got rid of one problem. I start focusing on this idiot. Heal up. I don't like debuffs. I just don't like debuffs. Get that Triana again. that down for a turn. Ooh. Sleep? Mm -mm. Armor break. Okay. That's cute. That's fucking cute. 
Hit him with the... <laughs> but your defense... <clears throat> your defense is better if it is more intimidating than it... Like, believe it or not, your defense could be shitty runes. But if you sit there and you... And you, you know you make your defense look intimidating like if you have the units to make it look intimidating like units that people just don't want to fight because there are things that people just don't feel like dealing with for example uh on my way up to who <laughs> to uh to the ranks I, like i ended up running into a team and you know i ended up out of the 10 matches i won nine and i was going to uh, battle the 10th one and on the 10th one, uh, it was a Tiana with a, uh, I can't remember who was the lead. Oh, I think it was Kasamid. And I was so tempted to just, and it was Rika. I was so tempted to just not fight that team. I did not want to fight that team. Not because I couldn't beat it or I didn't have confidence that I could beat it, but because it is all up to RNG. And sometimes when you're trying to climb up certain ranks, you don't want to take those chances. I did take the chance, and I did win, because it turned out that his Triana was not built on speed, which, in my opinion, was stupid on his behalf. It was not built on speed. It was built on a violent rune set. It's just horrible. It, it was slow. It was actually, the Pesameth moved first. Everything moved before her. I didn't understand why it was like that. But the point was, I almost didn't fight it because it was intimidating. Because I thought to myself, I don't feel like dealing with this shit and had i moved away from it he would have stood in his ranks even higher because that's the thing it's just sometimes they're just intimidating that's all they are intimidating uh, i'm gonna finish this one more round yeah, i'm gonna finish this one more round and then i'm gonna just do some you know things and then i'm gonna head off to editing the video probably tomorrow but anyway stay tuned uh okay went back 66 so this is the point. My defense is to be intimidating. Not, not like my defense is, oh my gosh. But it is to be just intimidating. Because those who have attacked my defense, I, I, I'm i messing with some removals. I did some rune removals. So hopefully my defense sustains themselves longer. But, because uh, I didn't rune my Vanessa very well. I just had her on very uh, crappy runes. And my Triana, I just didn't have her on resistance. It was just all, it was will and violent. And I don't like, I personally don't like will runes too much because I prefer long game over short game. Because if you're playing on violent runes, most people expect, like when you're at a higher rank, most people expect will runes. Will runes are good. Don't get me wrong. You put will runes on, you're going to do good. But uh, putting will runes on doesn't necessarily mean you win. Because yes, you'll have will runes, you'll You'll be able to not, you know, hopefully prevent the stun. But with low resistance, that will rune can easily be stripped. Because accuracy is kind of a lie in this game. I'm just going to tell you that right now. But will rune, uh, with good resistance, you could possibly resist your will rune being stripped. But I always prefer my units on Endure to increase the resistance so that this way the long game lasts. Because if my short game is just focused and relying on the will rune if they pass that will rune and pass some of my defenses i'm asked out if i just keep getting stunned there was no point in me making a defense because a lot of people go for stuns a lot well other than the lucian comp but a lot of people go for stuns um but if you have resistance you're going to be sustaining yourself a lot more another thing before i head off to the world arena is most people, most pro people end up going just for like a, a Lucian comp. Well, they're going just speed through defenses that they know they could beat because they're going to outspeed it. They're going to the shoot on, you know, shoot the four card drop on everything. And that's pretty much it. And they're just going to wipe defense. So if you're trying to make it from fighter, like if anyone's watching this and you're on fighter the people who are watching this video if you're a fighter rank 
are below, you can set your defense up. People will tell you don't focus on defense right now, but one of the things that are key to the game that will help you progress is working on your glory shop statues. And I'm not saying put that as your focus. In reality, you should focus on gaining your runes, optimizing efficiency, working on what teams are best suited for you in all your game style. But one of the main things that you should be doing after you build your runes, after you set your teams, is building up those glory shops. I'm not saying dedicate your time to it, but building up your glory statues, your, your speed totem, your HP, all of that good stuff would benefit you so much more. And uh, it, it helps a lot. And just to show you a perfect example, I regret never focusing on my arena. I paid attention to too many people and listen to them saying, oh, put Arena last, focus on Giants, PvE, Giants, PvE, Arena's endgame, or whatever. I don't agree with that. Because of that, because of that concept, just farming and stuff like that, I ended up not maxing out my glory statues. Look, not maxed. Level 2, level 3. My speed totem is level 9. I did focus on this because this is very important. Uh, well, getting to level 9. Once this is level 9, that's pretty much it. You don't have to get it to level 15. After level 15, it's, it's wasting your glory points. This should be the last thing you finish. You should do your glory all the way up to 9 on your sky totem and leave it at that. Don't, don't try and get it to 15. It's a waste. Get it to 9 and you're good. Even 8 is fine. Then when you get to that point, the next thing you want to work on is what you're lacking. So if you are lacking in HP for your PvE content, your units are dying faster. Then you end up doing your crystal altars. This way you can focus on your HP. Then after that, you focus on whatever else you're, you're needing. But these will help you a lot. It's basically an extra substat that you could have. For those who don't know that, but I'm sure people know that. Oh, what did I do? Anyway, farming is fine. Farming is perfectly fine. But you should take into consideration your arena if you have the time. If you don't have time, do what everyone says. Just put a weak defense, let people attack it, and just farm like that. It's going to take forever, but you'll get it done. But if you're one of the people who are on here and then or are on enough time where you could do some arena, try and knock out 10 wings a day or try and knock out 30 wings a day or 20 wings a day and stack it. If you're going to put a defense, avoid avoid water defenses. Try and put at least two fire defense monsters, a fire healer or something that could tank out that Lucian, Lucian cards um, and you should be okay. So anyway, I'm going to do the, my preliminaries and then, are they preliminaries? How do you say this shit? Anyway, I'm doing this and then I'm going to finish up the video. See what happens. Who do I want to ban? Oh, I love this one. The same unit I always want to ban. I don't know who I'm going to ban. You okay? I'm sorry. I thought you fell asleep. That's not true. No, it's not. It's actually not true. Anyway, it is late. I am going to do this one match, and then I will head off. Try and speed me out. Lagmaron? He thinks that I'm just gonna focus on water units, I'm guessing. And uh Okay. 
This is going to be easy. This is a lot easier than I thought. Gonna go for Laika. Louise. Let's see if he backs out. He most likely is gonna back out. There's no way his monsters are gonna win. I already know who I'm banning. I'm gonna ban his twin. And there's my foul play. I'm just gonna ban his light twin. He won't have armor break. What does dark twin armor break? Oh, the light, the dark twin does armor break. He's most likely gonna ban my Nikki or my Moyama. Is it gonna be easy? He's gonna rely on his Delph voice to try and resist. His Lagomoron's not gonna have much health. He chose wrong. He's hope he's hoping on his uh his giant. That's it. You okay. I'm coming now. The Juji's call. Anyway, I will continue this video tomorrow. So stay tuned. Gonna try and stun one monster. Did nothing. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Try and get your coins off. That's what he was relying on, I'm pretty much guessing. Does she strip? Oh, she steals beneficial effects. Who would have known? Wow, I really should pay attention to the unit style fighting. <laughs> no stun. Oh, shit. Two stuns. I'm gonna see if we could start taking you down. Wow, she's she steals beneficial effects. That's pretty useful. She's gonna take my immunity again. I did not expect this unit to be like that. Whoa. Wombo combo. Cute. Time to capitalize off of this. There's nothing he could do. His lagging rod's not strong enough. It's pretty much over. Oh, I'll just keep it. Oh. Wombo combo. Wombo combo. Anyway, that was it. Sorry about that. Gotta end the video early. Gotta end the video early. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Anyway, this is more of a conversation rather than, I guess, some special league. Anyway, guys, gotta head off, all right? The missus is not feeling well. But, um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. So the next video I'm posting is going to be tons of special leagues. I'm going to waste all 30 wings. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going to be about. Bye-bye.